One thing a lot of people that start out with FreeCAD don't know is that sketches can do more than one thing per sketch, and sketch offsets are very powerful. So I have this clamp, this theoretical clamp here. And for strength, it has these, uh, these extensions like this that are diagonal. And I have a feature in this clamp that I put in. I have a pocket here for a captured nut, the shaft of the bolt. And on the other side, I have a pocket for the head of the bolt. And I did all of this with two sketches. The bolt, that is, not talking about the clamp, but the pockets and for the shaft and the bolt two sketches. And I'm going to show you how I did that. So first off, the uh, pocket for the nut. On this surface in here I created this sketch. And if we go and look at that sketch, we have a hole for the shaft of the bolt and then we have the uh, hexagon for the nut. And this is just sitting here on this internal surface. But I want to pocket that hexagon from out here in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift the offset of this sketch. Now it's sketched on this surface. Some people might make a datum plane out here and go that way, but we don't have to. It's on this surface. If I come in here to the attachment offset, position, down to Z, you can see I can move that sketch along its Z. Now that Z is normal to the sketch. So I'm going to take it down this way. Until it comes out the other side right there negative 18 and then I'm going to take just the center circle and I'm going to pocket that through all and reversed now that's going to make our shaft cut all the way through the clamp Okay, now under this pocket, there's our sketch. I'm going to hit the space bar on it to show it again. And now I'm going to come in and I'm just going to select, holding down control, the wires that make up the hexagonal shape. And with that selected, I'm going to do another pocket. Again, reversed. You can see it's starting to cut in there. Now I want about five millimeters of material here because this is a big beefy clamp and I know I moved that sketch 18 millimeters this way. So what's 18 minus 5? 13. So I'm going to take and make this length 13 millimeters and hit OK. So there is the pocket for our nut. And I've got to cut all the way through for the shaft. Now i got to do the pocket for the uh, head of the uh, bolt. So to do this, I'm going to put a sketch on this surface. I've got section view turned on already. So I can see it, the surface that we're sketching on. I'm going to import that circle. So I have a center point. And I'm going to draw the circle for my head of the nut or the bolt. And I'm just, these are just arbitrary. I'm not actually making it for a real bolt, so I don't know what the actual diameter would be, but we're just going to make that 10 millimeters and close. Now I've got that sketch. And I could do the same thing. I could um, offset it out here and then pocket in. Or I can just, from right where it's at, Pocket it through all. And now, again, I want five millimeters of material in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show the sketch. I'm going to come down to its offset. Nope, positive takes it out. I want to go in. So I'm going to go and set this to negative five. Now I have moved the sketch five millimeters in. And it's still pocketing downwards, so it's coming out this side. And so there we go. Just like that, by offsetting the sketches, I've been able to do all of this, these two features here, 
with two simple sketches and no datum planes, no fancy tricks, just offsetting the sketches. So there you go. Sketch offsetting is a pretty powerful feature.